beginnings are always a little awkward and a bit daunting, but they're merely an opening to greater understanding and enlightenment. Oh, sorry, hold on. I should probably film this. Sorry, doctors. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not a doctor. Just call me Daniel. Okay, Daniel. You seem like a very bright child. Do you ever have problems with people relating to you? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's sometimes hard to communicate with my parents. They just want things to be neat and tidy. And life is not always neat and tidy. Sometimes, when people don't have enough information about something or somebody, they get scared. It doesn't have to be complicated though, right? I mean, once you're willing to see the truth, once you accept it, there's nothing to fear. You're absolutely right. And sometimes, if you can just educate people about something or some subject that they don't know about, then the fear goes away. And acceptance and love can come through. That's why I'm filming everything. So that people can understand you better. Yeah. And what my mission is. Mission? To enlighten the planet. Wow. That's quite a job. I'm not doing it alone. But others are... Well, others are not as strong as I am. They're beings. You can tell me anything. What you say to me stays with me. You promise? I promise. Well, there are beings around me and others. How do I say this? They want to do bad things to us because we know things. Like what? I'm not scared of you. That's good. You should be. Heather. Heather! Heather!
open and slammed shut and there were shaking and lights. Okay, okay, Please. okay, okay, okay. I'm sure it's just the wind. No, 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 it was not the wind. Okay, okay. All right, just oh my God. stay here. Sarah, okay, okay. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, okay I've baby. got this. I've got okay, this, okay? Baby. Yeah. Mom. I'm okay. She's okay. Just put your foot down. So I was sleepwalking again, huh? Yeah. You remember anything this time? Uh-uh. Do you think, do you think I'm unstable? What? Honey, no. <laughs> Who said that? You don't? No, I don't. Mom does. Sweetie, your mom is just scared, that's all. She feels like Maybe she messed something up and she just is scared. I just want her to be happy again. But she's afraid of her feelings. I'm really depressed. Look, sometimes that happens. Women, after they have a baby, they, they get depressed, but She medicated before Sarah, too. Medicated? Where did you hear that? Grandpa. When did he say that? <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Uh, it's a little late to be getting a chat room message from one of your buddies. It's my friend Paul from Portland. Yeah? What does Paul from Portland want? This late? He just wanted to make sure I was okay. Because of tonight. Wait, what do you mean? How would he know? We can... It's hard to explain. We just know each other's thoughts sometimes. You mean... without talking or telling each other? Yeah. We just get a feeling. Cool. Well, it's late, and I hope he knows what my thoughts are right now. Jar, it's past your bedtime. All right? I get it. Mm-hmm. And if you plan on doing any sleepwalking later tonight, I've uh, marked the ice cream garden. Oh, I get it. Mm -hmm. Someone just wants all of it for themselves. <laughs> watch your head. Watch your head.
I love you too. Good night. This is between you and me. Leave my family out of it. Understand? See if there was like an earthquake or something. And then it stops when we get to Heather's room? And and what, what and she's standing on her bed with that crazy look in her eyes? I know, I think she was sleepwalking again. Well, it freaks me out. She, she was in our room two nights ago, standing by our bed. I think we have to try one of those treatments. Treatment what what treatments? There's no treatments for sleepwalking. But I'm not gonna put my daughter on prescription I'm, pills. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that she she needs to be near some other kids like her. When's the last time she had a sleepover? Jessica's mother said she's scared of her. I know. I saw David Trader Josie practically pretending he didn't see me. It's sad. It's like she's always worried about something. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Very funny. I'm serious, she seems to know things and feel things that she just shouldn't know. That's creepy. She mentioned talking to your dad. Did he call recently? Uh, no. Uh, the last time I talked to my dad via text was the night before Sarah was born. I, I'm in Japan, I'll visit when I get back. That was 11 weeks ago. So. Sorry. Go to sleep. Right. I'm just gonna see if there's anything on here about the earthquakes. I love you.
I'm not scared of you. You should be, little girl. Slightly burnt. Perfect. I love mine burnt. <laughs> Wanna try? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Most burnt of them all. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. <laughs> I know she didn't sleep very well last night either. Somebody had to keep an eye on that ice cream carton all night. Hop up here. How did that go? I had my eyes on it all night. <laughs> <laughs> this is my dad. He works really hard to provide for our family and keep us safe. I love him more than he'll ever know. I'm her dad. Big D. Little A. Little D. Try to look as uh, cool as possible anytime I'm on camera. It's sort of a big thing around here. Especially after all of his ice cream. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a very kind person. And I want him to know he doesn't need to figure it out. Huh? Figure what out? I'm a happy kid with loving parents. There's absolutely nothing to figure out. All right, Miss Filmmaker. Time for school. Go help your mom with the kitchen and, uh, and we'll study, all right? Okay. Can we start with science today? Yes. Great. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Good morning, Waffles. stand for? Was... Mm, titanium. Awesome.
think this is the stem of Heather's problems, that she's some kind of interdimensional star child? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. You think she's like a hybrid, half alien, half human? No, I, I don't think that. And that's <laughs> not what they're on. saying. I mean, they, they, just, she has a few of those characteristics, that's all. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know, baby. I'm just grasping at anything here. Look at her. Look at her. I know. She's so smart. She sits in her room all day and talks to that camera. And, you know, it's, it's your fault, kind of, because all these cameras that you have around for art protection, so that you can sit around and look at her and analyze her. You're obs it's like you're obsessed. You're obsessed. I'm not obsessed. But we both agreed to get the cameras. That's what the doctor said to do. You know, I don't trust doctors. I don't think doctors know what they're talking about. They think that I'm bipolar. I am the most even-tempered woman that I know. Don't you agree? I agree <laughs> that we both love our daughter very much and that we want her to have a normal childhood. It's just gotta be my fault because I have been so obsessed with Sarah and I know that I was a nightmare when I was pregnant. So she must think that I don't love her as much. I don't know. No, she knows that you love her. And you weren't that much of a nightmare. Difficult, potentially, slightly, a little. <laughs> but I don't think that was the only thing. So you do think it's my fault? Oh my God, baby, I didn't say that. It's not what I'm saying. I don't think that. It's just my mother used to lock herself in the room for days. And I made a promise that I would never be like that. I don't want to be like that. You're not like that. <sighs> okay. Okay. You know what? I, I, maybe if I take her to the mall. Perfect. Like some mother daughter time. Exactly. A little bonding? Yep. All right. Okay. Do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I'm not obsessed. Yes, you are. Come in, Mom. Hi, honey. What are you doing? Nothing. Hmm. Oh, you finish your homework? Yeah. Hey, that was a pretty impressive breakfast this morning. No! Honey? Honey? You okay? You okay? Heather? Heather! I'm okay. Why? Okay, I'm just being concerned, that's all. We should uh, go to the mall. What do you think? Go to your favorite store and have some girl time. Okay. Great. Okay, I'm gonna get your jacket. Okay? <laughs> mm. No, I don't want to play hide and seek. Hide and seek? I don't want to play hide and go seek. Because I'm, I'm afraid, afraid of the, the dark. dark. Don't be silly. Of course you're not afraid Do of the dark. Do you promise? Okay, I guess so, but only if I know. Heather. Who are you pretending to talk to? Heather. Heather, look at me. Heather, Heather, we got... Heather! Uh, 
Daddy. Uh, are you okay? Baby, what was that? What, Dad? You don't remember what you said? No. Oh my god, Jesus. Get up, get up, get up. What just happened, baby? What? What was in here? What was going on with your mom just I now? I don't, I don't know. And she, she came in and she said we were going to go to the mall. It was like I fell asleep and I don't remember anything. Okay, okay, shh. I'm, 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 I'm trying and I can't remember anything. It's okay. I don't know what to do. I know. What did I, I do? know it's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Put your lips down, okay? Okay. Hmm? It's gonna be okay. What about you? I'm no, okay. No. I'm okay. I'm okay. But you should sleep. No, no, no. Don't worry about me, baby. Okay? Why don't you just lay down? Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay, okay? You lay down. You want uh, a little ice cream? Oh, you ate it all. <laughs> I have a secret stash in the garage for you. Okay? I love you. Me too. Not like the others. I see the truth of who you really are, and I am not afraid of you. We have a problem. <sighs> what the hell is that? I don't think I can handle all of this. Yeah? Oh, God. Oh, she had this look in her mind. And that voice. A voice. It was evil. A voice. Like a freaking alien or something. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Are you calling me a liar? Babe, I'm just... I don't even know what's going on, so what are you talking I'm not even saying. I don't know what's going on either. But that's our daughter. And our daughter is not normal. Go what the hell? I'm afraid of the dark. That's not Heather's voice. Hey, sweetie, how you feeling? Uh, a little better. Yeah? You hungry? Not really. Okay. I love you. Me too.
Uh, hi. Uh, may I speak to Daniel, please? May I ask who is speaking? Uh, my name is Randy. Um, I, I saw a couple videos on his site, and I... I think my daughter might be in danger. Okay, Randy. Can you tell me a bit more? Um, yeah. I think maybe she's like an indigo child or something. <laughs> she... She's talking to a friend in Portland, and, and this kid says that he knows what she's thinking without even talking to her. And then today, she like was possessed. She had her eyes, her eyes looked like they were rolling back in her head, and this weird voice came out. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get Daniel to call you back. Is this the best number? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Now what? Hello? Hi. Wow, that would be awesome. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we're here all night. Thank you. Uh, 215 Skyline Circle. Great, thank you. They're bringing someone in. We need to move fast. If it's okay with you. I mean, that's what we're saying. I mean, we don't even know if it's gonna work. It'd just be nice for you to talk to him. That's all. Yeah, we just want you to be okay, sweetie, you know? I know, Mom. And it's all gonna be okay. I promise. Please, don't. I'll get it. Hey, I'm Daniel. I'm Heather. Hi, Heather. Come on in. I'm Randy. Hi, I'm Brandy. <laughs> My pleasure. So you, uh, you're a psychic? Yes, yes I am. A psychic and a medium. What's the difference? I think that everybody is a little psychic, able to access information and energy that you can't get using your five human senses. But mediums, mediums are a little different. Mediums can connect with other realms and dimensions. Do you want to sit down? Oh, sure, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Sure. What do you mean connect? Well, there's not really one specific way that I connect. Sometimes I'll see images or little snippets of videos inside my head. Sometimes I'll hear a line from a song or a book or a movie, and sometimes I might just get a feeling. What kind of feeling do you get about me? I, I <laughs> don't know if I really would yeah, feel but, comfortable no, talking No, I'm about an open book. You can tell me anything. I, I feel that there's something from your past that you need to face because it's holding you back from experiencing real joy. It's probably just something from your childhood. We all tend to hold on to those things the most. You, you young lady are very intuitive. You know what? I'm going to go lay down. It's very nice meeting you. Okay. Uh, 
sorry. So how do we, how do we do this? I, I guess that Heather and I could just sit and talk for a while and then go from there. All right. Um, do you want to do it inside or maybe outside? I think outside would be great. What do you think, Heather? That's fine with me. Great. Um, why don't you guys go outside and I'll just be inside if you need anything. Walk right out here. <laughs> Please, no, no, after you. I guess here will work. Great. Beginnings are always a little awkward and a bit daunting, but they're merely an opening to greater understanding and enlightenment. Oh, hold on, I should probably film this. Hmm. Sorry, doctor. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not a doctor, just call me Daniel. Heather! Heather! What's going on? Something is trying to break down her spirit. She's a very strong little girl, but I just don't think she's strong enough. Heather. Go, go, what do you mean, go? Daniel, I want to help them. I know I can help them. Please help me do that. Of course I will. Thank you. Baby, let's get you inside. Let's look at your nose, okay? Fine. No, 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 come on. See anything like this before? Not exactly like this. I've only read about it. But in some rare cases, it's been thought that maybe. What? It has been documented that in some cases, that there's a possibility that there's been some form of contact with an energy from another world. I mean another world. Extraterrestrial beings. He's good. I want this to happen tonight. I have never seen anything like her before, and I really want to try and help. What are you You say she's talking to aliens? Heather is communicating on another entirely different level at times. And this is something that I have never seen before. And a human. Wait, are you you're saying that she's some like sort of that hybrid? Like, like I said before, I, I've never seen a case like this, but I really want to try and help her. Honey? Excuse me. Honey? <sighs> what? Hi. We're out of diapers. What do you mean we're out of diapers? I mean we're out of diapers. You just went to the store yesterday to get diapers. How could we be out of diapers? Oh wow, I forgot. Huh, I forgot. You forgot? Don't talk to me that way. And stop being like your mother. I'm 
I'm sorry, I've got to go to the store to get some diapers. Will you please stay? Well, of course I will. Thank you. I if you don't mind, I'm just going to lie down for a minute. Of course. he is. Long time no see, stranger. Hey, how'd you know I was here? I've always known when you wanted something. I heard you were back. Yeah. This is what's been really tough on Ricky. Jen said he's been uh, acting out. I, I don't know what it is. Hmm. I wonder where he gets that from. I don't know what it is. Like, I made a promise to myself I'm going to make it work with Jen. All right, and then... And here you are. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's like you get this... uncontrollable urge that... I don't know, I just can't... I don't know. I don't know what's going on right now. She looks a lot like you. Who? Jen? Heather. Brandy? I look at her eyes. Her face. It reminds me of you. Brandy? Us. What'd I say? We cannot talk about that. Okay? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Love is complicated. Yeah. I gotta go. No, it's good. Brandy, no. okay? I gotta go. You think this is about you? What's going on? Hey, stop, Brandy. Shut up. I told Take you. It. No more. I know what you're doing. It's not gonna work. Back off. <laughs> Did you say something, sweetie? I'm hungry. Oh, now do you want me to make you your favorite sandwich? PB and J? Chips? Yeah, okay. Uh, well, can I have two sandwiches and two bags of chips? Leave 
us again. Baby, Dad did not leave us again. He's here. He just went to go pick up some groceries. <laughs> Piece of shit. Tom, don't say that. I gotta go. What? what the hell are you doing here? What are you talking about? I love my husband. I love my wife too. What are you doing here? We had a deal. I don't even know why I'm here. You need to leave. She knows not what she does. What did you say? Daddy, it wasn't her fault. What are you talking about? Where's your mother? Is Daniel still here, Dad? Yeah. I really need to talk to him. Baby, it's me. Please call me back. We're really worried about you, okay? Hey. Where were you? I'm sorry. For what? Everything. Excuse me one second. Can it get worse? What's gonna get worse? They're going for the innocent. Things that can't protect themselves. My mom, Ricky. I have to help them. Then let's see what we can do to help them. Shall we begin? I don't deserve you. Stop saying that. <sighs> it's true. Look at me. I've screwed up our daughter. And I'm bloated. <laughs> You're not bloated. <laughs> and you didn't screw up our daughter. their pain. I really want to help them. What do you think you can do? I just know that I can. I know that with the help of the others on the grid, we can stop them. She has been on the grid. You've been on the grid? There are a lot of people who want to help us there. We do not have to allow those negative forces in. They're always gonna be there, but we don't have to allow them to come in. The others won't be able to do that. Well, do you think that you and I should try to talk to one of them and, and tell them that they have to leave you and the others alone? I guess so. Here. Do you think we'll listen? Let's hope so. Leave this.
this child alone. You are not welcome here. Heather, Heather, are you all right? Are you okay? I, I think so. What's going on? We're fine, we're fine. Everything's all right in here. You okay, Heather? Wait, wait, that's Jen and Cochran from down the street. Ricky, where's Envy? Okay, baby, you stay here. Uh, Daniel and I will go. You take care no, of Heather's. No, I won't stay here. Listen, I will stay here with Heather. You two go now. Okay, put, put, put her down. I'll, I'll wait for you. Come on. Thank you very much, Daniel. Yeah. Please, baby, come on. Let's go. Let's go. I know. I know. Is there going to be two Let's hope. Tonight, I have to go and protect the others. Can you connect to the grid? Yes, I'm there. See if you can find Ricky. Okay. He's not here. He's been tricked. By who? Um, uh, the man in the black suit. Who is this man? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I can't see his face. I can only see the back of his head. Going after all my brothers and sisters. D do you mean Sarah? No, the others. He wants to stop us because his father was sent to protect Earth from another species. A species that will destroy our planet. Randy Nelson? No. He's not my real father. Who is your real father then? I tried to talk to them. I think we freaked them out, it's though. It's getting worse. What? Okay. What's going on, baby? What's going they're on? Not, you okay? They're gone. It's not, it's not here anymore. I'm not here. They're not here. <laughs> baby, baby. Ricky. Ricky. What's going on? <laughs> so great. Who? Who? The night visitor. <laughs> Where did they take him? I can't see, it looks like a big room. I can't see, there's too much light. I can't see anything. Baby, 
Come on, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, my baby. Sarah. Sarah's gone. It's okay. Thank you, baby. Okay. Okay, be careful. Listen to me. This is way beyond anything that I've ever experienced in my lifetime. Heather thinks that something is coming after her and her siblings. I think that her father is... I think that you are what is known as a surrogate. What? And that some being is coming after the children of Heather's biological father. What do you mean? Heather! What? What's going on? What are you doing? It's time for me to fulfill my destiny. I love you both. Don't worry. We aren't alone. Did you hear that? They're coming for you! Oh, coming for me? <laughs> Manifest the rest, no regrets, love and respect. Respect, it's all blessed. 